Now see here, astronomers have recently discovered a neutron star, also known as a dead star, spinning at an extraordinary speed of 716 times per second. It makes it one of the fastest spinning stars we've ever found in the universe. And it's not just about its speed. The surface of this neutron star is erupting with super-powerful explosions almost non-stop. But before we dig deeper into the mystery of this neutron star, let's figure out what these stars really are. They form from the remnants of massive stars that are at least eight times the mass of the Sun. When such stars exhaust their nuclear fuel, they can no longer counteract the force of gravity pulling their matter inward. This leads to the collapse of their cores, triggering a massive supernova explosion that blows away the outer layers of the star. What's left behind is an ultra-dense core. That's a neutron star. These stellar remnants are incredibly small, typically just 12 miles wide. At the same time, they pack in more mass than the Sun. The density of neutron stars is also overwhelming. Imagine taking the mass of two suns and squeezing it into a sphere about the size of a city. A single teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh around 10 million tons. That's the same as the combined weight of 85,000 blue whales. Such an extraordinary density is what gives neutron stars their immensely powerful gravitational fields. When matter falls onto a neutron star, it accelerates to speeds of millions of miles per hour before slamming into the surface. The energy release from such impacts is truly astonishing. Now, despite its name, inside a neutron star, there are not only neutrons. A few protons survive down there, too. Now, normally, protons repel each other since they have the same positive charge. But in a neutron star, that crushing gravity forces them so close together that the strong nuclear force takes over. It pulls them toward the neutrons like they're all part of the same team. Inside the star, things get stranger the deeper you go. Near the surface, neutrons clump into blobs, kind of like a neutron nyagi. A bit further down, these blobs link together into long chains, forming what scientists call the spaghetti layer. I'm getting hungry. At even greater pressures, the spaghetti chains fuse side by side, creating flat sheets think neutron lasagna. Keep going any deeper, and the lasagna eventually breaks down into a uniform mass. But even then, the structure isn't smooth. There are gaps, long tube-shaped voids that look a lot like penny pasta. So inside a neutron star, you've got layers of gnocchi, spaghetti, lasagna, and penny pasta. And each of them represents the mind-bending results of physics under insane pressure. OK, I'm definitely having Italian for lunch today. Now, the recently discovered neutron star is part of a binary system located in a dense star cluster. This cluster is situated near the center of the Milky Way galaxy, approximately 26,000 light-years from Earth in the direction of the Sagittarius constellation. The record-breaking spin of the star is extraordinary. If we take a period of not a second, but a minute, it'll be over 42,000 revolutions per minute. At the same time, the newbie ties with another neutron star, which spins at the exact same speed. Such extreme rotation rates are rare and make these stars cosmic outliers in terms of behavior and properties. Oh wait, we can't but mention our neutron star's binary partner. It's a white dwarf, a dense remnant of a star similar in size to our Sun. This white dwarf is pretty fast, too. It orbits the neutron star once every 11 minutes. This makes the couple a binary system, with the shortest orbital period ever observed. Imagine a stellar object zipping around its partner faster than the time it takes to prepare a cup of coffee. Yep, that's the kind of speed we're talking about here. This tight, rapid orbit shows how powerful gravitational forces are inside the system. So you might be wondering what makes neutron stars spin so rapidly. It's something called the conservation of angular momentum. Let me explain. When a massive star collapses into a neutron star, it shrinks dramatically. Such a rapid compression gives an instant boost to its spin. It's like an ice skater spinning faster when they pull their arms inward. And the smaller the star gets, the faster it spins, which results in extreme rotation rates. In binary systems like this one, neutron stars can achieve even faster spin rates. Their trick is to steal matter from their companion stars. This process is called theft. <laughs> No, accretion. The stolen matter carries that very angular momentum, which adds to the neutron star's rotation speed. 
The accreted material can also build up on the neutron star surface eventually. It triggers powerful thermonuclear explosions. They release immense amounts of energy, temporarily making the neutron star shine up to 100,000 times brighter than our Sun. It allows astronomers to study the intricate details of these extreme environments. NASA's X-ray instrument on board the International Space Station, officially called the Neutron Star Interior Composition Explorer and thankfully nicknamed NICER, observed 15 thermonuclear explosions on the surface of our neutron star between 2017 and 2021. One of those bursts displayed a unique pattern called thermonuclear burst oscillations. Those are highly asymmetric patches of brightness on the burning surface layers of accreting neutron stars. This pattern matched the spin rate of the neutron star and thus confirmed its extreme rotational speed. But wait, the best part is coming! While neutron stars are already extreme, there's another class of them that takes things to a whole new level – magnetars. Now, Magnetars are neutron stars with unimaginably strong magnetic fields, up to a thousand trillion times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. These fields set them apart from other neutron stars. They can distort atoms in nearby objects, making life impossible anywhere near them. As for the energy density of a magnetar's magnetic field, it's so high that it's 10,000 times greater than the mass density of lead. Magnetars also produce bursts of X-rays and gamma rays that are so powerful they can temporarily outshine entire galaxies. These bursts are often triggered by star quakes, violent shifts in the magnetar's crust caused by their own magnetic fields. For example, a gamma ray burst from a magnetar in 2004 was so strong that it disrupted Earth's ionosphere. It hit Earth, and it was so intense that several satellites picked it up. The SWIFT satellite, built specifically to detect gamma ray bursts from across the universe, didn't just detect the blast. It got hit with so much energy that its sensors got completely overloaded. And SWIFT wasn't even facing the burst. The energy was so strong it passed through the spacecraft and still overwhelmed its cameras. If a magnetar was located as close to Earth as the Moon, its magnetic field would erase all credit card data on the planet by wiping the magnetic stripes clean. Whoa, that's the level of power we're dealing with here. Magnetars are extremely active, but for a relatively short time. Their intense magnetic fields decay after about 10,000 years. After that, they stop emitting strong X-rays and gamma rays. Astronomers think that there are at least 30 million inactive magnetars in the Milky Way galaxy alone. These silent cosmic relics are scattered all over the galaxy. Neutron stars and magnetars serve as laboratories for extreme physics. They allow astronomers to have insights into the behavior of certain matter under conditions you can never replicate on Earth. The incredible density of these objects helps scientists figure out what happens when protons and electrons get compressed together to form neutrons. This creates states of matter that don't exist anywhere else in the universe. These violent explosions on neutron stars and magnetars also play a critical role in the formation of heavy elements like gold and platinum. These elements get scattered all over the universe during these energetic events, eventually becoming parts of planets and stars and you and me. Oh, by the way, NASA's NICER instrument has played the key role in uncovering the mysteries of neutron stars. Its ability to detect X-rays with high precision allowed astronomers to study the rapid spin of the neutron star we've been talking about and the thermonuclear bursts that occur on its surface. So, what could be nicer than that? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.